We know stress kills, but did you know it also steals your hormones from you? And that's gonna lead to PCOS, fibroids, endometriosis, irregular cycle, PMS, just name it, infertility. All of this is coming from also a root cause of stress. So this herb's gonna help, this herb's gonna help, plus there's some other things that you can do. Let's dive in. Now, if someone were to come to your house and steal the groceries that you need to make dinner that night, you wouldn't let that fly. Now imagine they came back every single night. You are not letting that happen. But for some reason, we allow that to happen with stress. It's called pregnenolone stealing. Cortisol and progesterone have the same precursor. So if your body is stressed, it's going to prioritize stress because your body is in fight or flight. It's protecting itself. It's going to want to protect its livelihood because it thinks it's running away from a, a lion. It's, it's in survival mode. It's going to protect that over having a child. Because why would you have a child when this lion's chasing you? So it's going to prioritize cortisol. So if you continue with stress in your body, stress in your blood, it's going to just keep stealing all the pregnenolone that is needed to make the progesterone, which we spoke about in another video, is so important when it comes to regulating your cycle, especially when it comes to estrogen dominance. Now, we spoke about what estrogen does in the previous video. In this one, we're going to speak a little bit more about progesterone. So when we understand what progesterone does, we're going to understand how important it is that it rises after ovulation. A few of the things that it does is one, it boosts your metabolism about five or 10%, and it also helps support the thyroid function. A lot of women who are dealing with fibroids or any womb related disease are also having something going on with their thyroid and a lot of it has to do with progesterone. Two, it's a natural diuretic which is going to help with bloating. So when you think of PMS and bloating, a lot of the times it's because the progesterone levels aren't rising. Another symptom of PMS is going to be the mood and the irregular moods and irritability. Now it helps you ner regulate your nervous system which is another thing Well, we understand, well, if progesterone isn't high, our nervous system isn't being regulated, and then that is what is going to cause, be a big cause of the mood dysregulation. Another thing that it does is it helps with blood sugar regulation. So women with PCOS, you understand that they usually have issues with insulin resistance, which is going to in turn increase testosterone levels. So we could just raise your progesterone levels and that's going to help with that. Now, if you're looking to become pregnant, progesterone is also known as the pregnancy hormone because it prepares your uterine lining for implantation of the fertilized egg and it creates a nourishing environment. Now, if the progesterone doesn't rise, the environment for that egg in the endometrium isn't one that promotes growth and life. So then implantation doesn't occur. The boost of your immune system doesn't occur and your body is not going to have that implantation happen. And another thing is when you're making progesterone, you are not making cortisol. So it actually counterbalances stress. The same way it counterbalances estrogen is counterbalancing stress. And this is so important because we need regulation. We need not balance, but we need regulation. So we need stress to be high at times. We need it to be low at times. Estrogen to be high at times, estrogen to be low at times. So it's all about regulation. So now we understand how harmful stress is. Now let's talk about what we can do to calm the effects of stress on our body. And it's really all about reprogramming. Y'all might say, if I was in that beautiful beach like him, I wouldn't be stressed out. But let's keep it real. We've all been in some very beautiful places and all we could do is argue, all we could do is stress and focus on the negatives. So we gotta reprogram our, our brain to find the blessings in every situation that we're in. And we gotta realize that everything is working for us. And if it doesn't seem like things are working for us, it's because it's currently working on us. So we just gotta keep going and we gotta be able to find that blessing and find the lesson in everything. That's why one of my favorite practices is when you wake up in the morning, pray or just be grateful, say your gratitude for something in your life because that first couple seconds when you wake up is when you're most susceptible to whatever you're hearing or what you're reading or what you're seeing. So if you open your phone and you see some text or some emails or news, that's gonna reprogram your brain to this, this headlines and this negativity that's in the news. So when you start your day, start with positivity. When you end your day, end with positivity. Other practices I like is yoga. You can go to one of my yoga videos, Kemetic Yoga, it's epic, it's, it's legendary. You can do that, do that every day. You can do meditation, you can do breath work, you could do journaling. These are all gonna help you release the stress and realize that we're blessed, right? Another thing is exercise and workout. And when I say workout, I don't mean like every day you gotta work out. 
physically fit, physically demanding. Sometimes you just got to go for a walk, right? And as a man, I could hit it every day. I can go hard because I'm on a circadian rhythm, a 24 hour cycle. That's how my hormones are. But as a woman, you're on the infrading rhythm. So different phases of your cycle mean different workouts. And we're talking about progesterone production in the luteal phase. That's when you want to do less intense workouts. So you may not want to do your high intensity interval training during this phase. We got to keep it real. Exercise is a stressor. So during that time, we want to do less stressful exercise to help support the hormonal production. All right. And it's also amazing to go for walks during the sunset because the sun and light is very important when it comes to hormone production. So we want to be able to get outside. That's another video. I'm going to go deeper into light. I'm going to go deeper into being in the earth and touching the earth because grounding is very important as well. Some of us, we haven't touched the earth. We haven't been in water and springs for so long. So we got to get outside, touch the earth and just hear those natural sounds like sounds of the water. Go by a river. You hear the water sounds, right? Some of us just buy a fountain in your house. One of those things that just make the water sounds. Those things are all soothing to us, right? Sometimes we got to cut out some relationships. Some of these toxic relationships, cut them out. Get rid of them. They're not helping you. Believe me, when I cut some of these toxic relationships out of my life, my life changed. I realized like, oh, I feel light. I feel good. I'm not waking up with anxiety no more, right? We don't realize how toxic these toxic relationships are and how much it's affecting us. It's just cortisol flowing through our body being in these relationships. So let that go. The other thing I want to talk about is herbs. Now, in our herb cycling protocol, we want to focus on the luteal phase and herbs that are going to help calm your nervous system and help regulate your nervous system to support what progesterone does and to ease the cortisol in your system. So that's going to be blue vervain is going to be the number one. Now, I also really like soursop and those are two of the herbs that I spoke about in the beginning of the video. I also really like soursop because it's almost like a sedative herb. It really calms your nervous system down and it helps you get amazing sleep. And sleep is also extremely important. So these herbs are going to help you support your deep rests so then your body's going to be able to create and produce produce these hormones so you can click the link in the description to learn more about which herbs to take during the different phases of your cycle but during the luteal phase you want to focus on stress relief herbs and that's going to be the blue vervain the soursop also the patchouli those are master herbs for changing the chemicals that are being produced from cortisol to serotonin to melatonin all right, y'all, so sending y'all so much love. Just keep in mind, it's never worth it. That kind of it's never worth it. You've made it through every single situation in your life. There's not many things you can say. I've had a 100% success rate. There's nothing in your life that actually took you out because if you wouldn't, you wouldn't be watching this video. So you gotta just praise and give thanks for the opportunity to face all these blessings and to realize that everything is making you stronger. All right, so give thanks for tuning in. Send this video to someone you love, someone you care about, because some of us are doing all the right things, but it's the stress, it's the toxic relationships, it's the trauma, the lack of forgiveness that is actually still holding us in this cycle of not getting the results that we're looking for. So send y'all love. Give thanks for another episode of Womb Wellness Series. It's supposed to be Womb Wellness Wednesdays, but sometimes I'm not releasing it on Wednesdays. I'm going to work on being more consistent on Wednesdays. So I'm sending y'all so much love. Give thanks for life. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bless.